Hello, everyone. It's Steve with Aptair Owners Club. Um, a few days ago, someone was talking to me about the solar production facility uh, at Aptera. The, you know, they have like their main facility in Carlsbad, and then they have a separate facility that they're using to make the solar panels. That's a totally different building. And I was thinking, oh, we could probably figure out where that is. And so I looked up, I found this electric um, article back from October 4th. That's when they released their solar is in production video. And if you look at this there, they make a mention of uh, at the second go around as a solar electric vehicle startup, Aptera has been doing things differently, naming a number of suppliers to contribute components for sub-assembly and solar manufacturing perf performed by Aptera itself at a new 130,000 square foot facility in Vista, California. So then if you just go to Google and Google and look up Aptera Motors Corporation Vista Lease, um, this is what you get. Well, so you get the sponsored thing from Aptera where they're trying to um, drum up some investment. And then you look at, you, there's an SEC filing. If I looked at that and it looks like there is some new lease that started on July 1st, 2022 for a term of seven years. So it's a seven year lease that they signed to start in July of 2022. That is probably that solar facility in Vista, but it does not give an address in the SEC filing. And then I came down to this, Lee and Associates, a Q2 2022 San Diego North Industrial. If you click on that, you get this. And this is uh, this is a commercial real estate firm, and they kind of give uh, market reports about various parts of California. I think they just kind of focus in California. So this is the North Cal uh, San Diego County um, uh, market overview, and they're talking about like vacancy rate and things like that. But the, the interesting thing here is they look at top lease transactions by square foot during Q2 of 2022. And you see right here at 2340 Custo Court, Vista, California, this is a 134,299 square foot uh, facility that is leased by Aptera Motor Corporation. And the landlord is Elyon. Okay, so then... Uh, obviously, I you want to Google that. So if you Google that, um, what you get is Aqualung America. So I think this facility used to um, be occupied by Aqualung. You know, they make scuba equipment. And maybe maybe they were the original, and that's why this is called Cousteau Court, because, you know, Jacques Cousteau. Um, the, the very first link that shows up is this loopnet.com. And if you go to loopnet.com, it says... This page contains information about the property located here. It is currently available for lease. So this is a this is a current website, and they're saying it's currently available for lease. And if you dive further into their um, website, it's you know it says uh, this 134,000 square foot four-star industrial space available in Vista, California. So they are saying that this is available, which was a little concerning to me because um, we know that Aptera is current, has leased it for a seven year lease as of uh, 2022, Q2 2022. And now in Q1 of 2023, it is available for lease. Um, so that was a little surprising. And this is, um, another commercial real estate website showing that it's available for lease again. And this is by Lee and Associates. That's the group that put out this report. Um, and you see that the rental, monthly rental price, the lease price on this building, and you can see the big aqua lung here. That's interesting. Um, is $141,000 a month. So that's just the rent on this building is $141,000 a month. That is like... What is that? 1.6, 1.7 million dollars a year, uh, just in rent for this building. Uh, if you look at this, uh, the pictures here. If you look at this picture and you go back and remember that uh, video about solars in production, and you, you can clearly see that this is the same building. If you look at the side of this, and then this picture here that is definitely the same building and if you look at the google maps satellite image you can see there's all these solar panels on here 
and if you if you if we go through this some more you'll see all the solar panels okay so somewhere in california well now we know exactly where in california it is um, you see all these solar panels and you see over here there's another building next to them with solar panels which obviously if you zoom out on this they're shooting it this way and you see the solar panels here and then in the, that other building they're seeing is the solar panels on this building which is do Tech Incorporated, which is interesting. Uh, what's funny is Dr. Bronner soaps are manufactured here, it looks like, or they used to be. Um, I don't know if you guys use Dr. Bronner soap, but uh, my wife loves that soap, and so we buy that. Um, uh, so this is definitely the building, and so I was concerned when I found out that this was available for lease, so I reached out to Aptera, uh, Chief Marketing Officer, Sarah Hardwick, and I asked her, hey, can I get a comment from you guys about this uh, about this facility? Like, what's going on? Is that is that good? Bad? Like, are you guys having problems? And um, very graciously, they responded to me and they put out this statement. So this is the statement uh, that they put out. Um, Aptera will be consolidating our physical footprint in North County, San Diego, for greater capital efficiency. We currently lease a seventy-seven thousand one hundred forty-seven square foot facility at 5818 El Camino Real. So this is the facility that um, we all know about. We've seen multiple uh, rent uh, videos of this area. I think they just had the like the EV Electric Vehicle Association meeting there. The, uh, the Aptera Ambassadors meeting uh, was there. Um, and we've seen all kinds of pictures of this place. The, I, the previous leaser of this facility used to be a medical supply company. I think they made like hardware for spinal surgery. Okay, so, so we knew about this. This is, and this address is the address that's on their SEC filings as their main address. And a 134,299 square foot facility at 2340 Cousteau Court. So confirm um, that that is a location. With manufacturing of Aptera's carbon fiber bodies taking place at the CPC Group in Italy to start, we won't require as much space as originally anticipated to meet our first year production goals. We are in the process of unifying our presence at one of these two locations as a creative strategy to keep Aptera as investable as possible over the coming months. Both buildings are on the market as we explore options and either location can accommodate our space needs going forward. Our low volume solar production line will continue to operate has been and we'll be gearing up to build 40 vehicles days once we reach our funding milestones. In the coming years, we plan to expand and replicate our manufacturing and assembly facilities in more regions across the US. So what they're trying to do, and I think this makes perfect sense, is they are trying to um, uh, consolidate their location to one of these two locations. I'm thinking they prefer to go to this location and close out this location. And you can see how much money they would be saving by doing that. They would be saving um, $141,000 per month, uh, which is a, you know, a sizable uh, savings. And I think they, they thought they needed all the space back when they were doing the honeycomb, uh, the honeycomb uh, resin sandwich composite structure because that takes up a lot of space and they i thought they i think they thought they were building those um those bodies in-house uh, and they were going to do that part and that was going to be one of their core competencies but they've offloaded that to the cpc group um to doing this um, forged carbon bodies so they don't need the space anymore and so they are consolidating um to one of these two uh spots so hopefully they will find a subleaser who will take over their lease at one of these locations and they can save themselves some cash burn um, per month. So I think this is a very wise move that they're making. And so it makes me feel better that they're not having um, some big changes of like shutting down. I thought when I first saw that it was on, on the lease, I was like, well, maybe they decided that they're going to, you know, offshore their solar production to someone else and they had uh, leased out this thing, or maybe they're in worse financial trouble uh, than people imagined. But I think everything is as it seems. You know, they've had a lot of personnel changes. Um, they've unfortunately let a lot of their engineers go over the past year, I think, as a cost-cutting measure. And um, now they're trying to pare down their um, their uh, burn rate by getting rid of some facilities that they don't need, which um, makes sense. You know, ideally they should have done this earlier um, and uh, offloaded this cash burn even earlier, 
but um, hopefully they will find funding soon and they can become revenue positive. But um, just an interesting thing that I thought I would share with you guys um, that came about uh, after a short conversation with someone um, and um, made me start thinking about this uh, solar manufacturing um, production. Okay. Well, uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, as always, to our supporting members. Really appreciate you guys. And um, have a great day, everyone.